how y'all doing today? Today, my quick tip for you is how to weave in your tails when you're done knitting or crocheting. Join me. Okay, my quick tip for today, after you get rid of the kittens, get rid of your kitten so you can film. Today's quick tip is something I'm sure a lot of crocheters and knitters and other types of sewing knew how to do. And for some reason, I just never thought about it. I used to leave really long tails so I'd be able to thread my needle and weave in my work. Now, for some reason, it dawned on me. I can't remember if I saw somebody do it or if it just dawned. I don't know, so I can't say, hey, this person showed me. I can't say that. But if your tail that you need to weave in is really short or you do it short on purpose, weave in your darning needle where you want it. Well, now I can't even weave in. Weave in your darning needle first. Let's just, okay, that's as far as we're gonna go. Put it as far in as you can, and then thread your needle. That way, if you have a really short tail, oh, I should have used a different darning needle. Really short tail, it'll just go in simple like that. And ta-da! And then you can do it again. Let's see, we want to go back on ourselves. Yeah, we want to go this way. Well, this is hard to see what I'm doing here. Come back in. Oh, and then the dogs are gonna make a lot of noise, I think. Dogs want in. And weave it in, and boom! you It's just so much simpler. And a bonus tip that I learned from doing teddy bears. If you very gently pull that tight, not too tight, but just enough that it will spring back and then cut it off. When you cut it off, it buries itself like so. So there's your two quick tips. Weave in your needle first before threading it so that you can, can get a shorter tail woven in and gently Pull that tight when you're done to clip off any excess you don't want to weave in. And there you go. Thanks for watching my quick tip for today. There's a subscribe button right down there and also down in the description if you like these videos. Also give me a thumbs up, share this video. Give me a comment if there's any tips that you want to see or that you think that I might not know about. Let me know in the comments. Y'all be safe and healthy and I will see y'all next time. Bye!